All right, let's take a quick look at the team before. Have you ever thought about playing Pixelmon? I've thought about it. Have I done it? No. Will I? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe sometime in the future. Anyways, we got Spice. The Typhlosion, level 62. Rockin' Screech, Dual Chop, Double Edge, and Thunder Shock. Next, we have Ray, which was our... Uh, was it our Articuno encounter? Yeah, level 64, the Volbeat with Dream Eater, Slam, Hypnosis, and Minimize. And I just realized it has Hypnosis and Dream Eater, so maybe... Bro, wait. If Volbeat can somehow set up like three minimizes and just go for hypnosis dream eater the entire time this thing could literally sweep the elite four if i if i can somehow set up three minimizes without dying this thing could literally like sweep the champion i'm gonna tr if volbeat lives to the championship if volbeat lives to the champion fight i'm trying that hands down that needs to be attempted that needs to be attempted Anyways, next up, we've got Fresh, the Wigglytuff, level 64, rocking Water Pulse, Hydro Pump, and Waterfall in Sky, because it's essentially just a water type at this point. Uh, we've got Suffer, the Luxray, with Dark Pulse, Horn Leech, Fly, and Shadow Sneak. And then we've got JP, which is the Greninja, at level 65, Rock and Bite, Play Rough, Bullet Punch, and Air Slash. I feel like this will be the heavy hitter during it, just because it's got the most aggressive moveset. And then uh, Western, we've got who's trying to surf in a building. That's probably not going to work out too much for him. Uh, Western, which is our um, Star Raptor, rocking cut strength, surf, and aerial ace. Let's just go ahead, get into this, and hopefully not lose. You're not Lorelei. Why is there a biker in the Elite Four? That's weird. Um, anyways. <laughs> Oh, it's also Sabrina. That's fitting. Okay. You were supposed to be in the gym. What the hell? All right, I got Barbarical. Uh, terrible lead with Spice. Do I still have Energy Ball on Suffer? I better. I have Horn Leech. Okay, that's fine. We'll go out into that. Do 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 I forgot to turn off the stupid level. Oh my god, wait, hang on, 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 hang on. Oh my god, no way, it's Sabrina. Oh wow, that's a shock. Oh my god, they sent out Barbarical. Wow. Didn't see that one coming. Alright, let's go into Suffer, like the original plan was. Bum, 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 bum. Horn Leech. This should one shot? I mean, we're like 10 levels above and it's quad effective, so you're not living. No, oh, get out of here. Get out of here. What's up, Spice? Spice, did you say you're three margaritas deep? Impressive. Impressive. Doom, 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 doom. Let's go for Dark Falls. I meant to switch out, but we'll just go for Dark Falls. That's fine. Oh, it lived? So this is the other thing that I'm not a big fan of in terms of the older generation. For whatever reason, the AI was coded to make its decision after you went. It's not, it wasn't like predetermined or anything, right? So like in generation, I think it's generation two and beyond. Okay, they have a stat one. That's kind of cool. So, so if, if they have, like, uh, in, in Generation 3, I know, but Generation 2, maybe not. 3 and beyond, their action was decided when you made your action. It wasn't decided after the fact. So in this game, for whatever reason, if you paralyze a Pokemon, and it's, like, a trainer like this, they'll go for, like, a, a full heal immediately. And with gym leaders and stuff, for whatever reason, some of them just have, like, an infinite amount of full heals. When I played through Pokemon Yellow, when it, when they released it as, like, a virtual console, I soloed that game with Butterfree. And when I got to the first gym leader, Brock, I would paralyze his Pokemon, and literally the same turn after I would paralyze it, he would use a paralyze heal, or a full heal, or, or whatever. Literally, it, and it just happened with the other Pokemon. It didn't kill, so it was within the range where the AI was programmed to use a Super Potion, but because this game is programmed to take the action after yours instead of at the same time, they get the advantage in healing before the turn switches, right? So in this game scenario, so in like Pokemon Emerald, if I were to have hit that Pokemon, they would have hit me 
even though they were in range of needing healing. And then they would have healed it on the next turn, and I would have been able to hit them then. In this game, however, I hit them, they fall within the range of healing, and they heal immediately. It, it, it's like the programming knows what you're using. It, when it doesn't, it's just programmed to act after you act. Which is kind of annoying, but fun fact if you didn't know. Anyways, I probably should have switched. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and switch out into Typhlosion again, because they have uh, Fighting-type moves. Do, 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 do. But I guess, you know, I can't complain sometimes about AI if they go for soft boil when they're fully healed. I, you know, I guess you'd take some... Why did I think I had fighting type moves on this? Dual Chop is a dragon type. What, uh, and Double Edge is a normal type. I, what did I think I had? Did I, I, I must have thought I had, like, Double Kick or something. Um, uh, let's just go for Dual Chop. Why not? Why not? Alright, you're dead. Nice. On to the next. On to the next. As soon as it gets through all this experience. A Glalie. JP's got a really well-rounded moveset, so maybe... Let's just go into GP because why not? Like, why not anyway? You know? It's not like it really matters. We're all, like, we're like 10 levels above these guys. I trained them accordingly to the champion, which, in retrospect, probably wasn't the smartest decision because, again, I'm stronger than all of them, but, uh, you know... Whatever. You know, it wouldn't be one of my runs if it wasn't invalidated somehow. So this way, some people in the comment section have the right to complain. I'm overleveled. Oh, well. Sue me. Imagine. Imagine. Bro, the amount of people that just complain in the comment section on TikTok is insane. Meryl. Hmm. Really bring in the heat, aren't you? Really, really, you're just you're bringing the heat. We finished the first Elite Four, by the way. I'm busy talking about analytics and shit on TikTok. I probably shouldn't do that while we're playing a game. Let's go ahead and take on Bruno. Or who is someone else other than Bruno, because that is in Bruno's sprite. It's Koga. That's kind of cool. Koga is actually in the Elite Four in the second generation game, so this is kind of cool that we're facing Koga now. Um, post the whole playthrough in one video. I'm actually going to do that on YouTube. We're, we're gonna do that on YouTube once it's completely done on TikTok. So yeah, that's that'll be happening over there. In terms of TikTok, though, the max amount you can post is like 10-minute videos. Which, I don't see the point. I don't see the point in having a 10-minute video on TikTok. A stunky! Bring in the power! Bring in the power! Bigger Val while I wait for the boys. Hmm... Drunk Val hits different, so I say Val. That game is a lot of fun when you're drunk. That game is a lot of fun when you're drunk. I lie, that game's never fun. But it's more, it's less not fun when you're drunk. <laughs> it is less not fun. When defeating a Pokemon, should that Pokemon gain experience or your whole team? The whole team. I, 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 think, I think having, also, I'm sorry I didn't respond before. I was too busy talking about analytics and shit. Um, but, uh, I, I, I definitely prefer the way that they had it in the future generations, where it just... Grinding is so pointless. I absolutely hate it. So, yeah. Oh, cool, it's a Dragon-type. We get to hit it with Dragon-type damage. That Gibble's gonna die. Crazy. Alright. Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? So much experience. An Empoleon. Napoleon. All right, let's go on to suffer. Do 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 do. Also, whoever said they like the beanie, I think it was Spice. Uh, thank you. It's uh, Twitch's new beanie. You can get it on Amazon. Do 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 do. I'm not. I'm. I'm usually not like a huge proponent of Twitch's merch. It's not the greatest things I've ever seen, but I love beanies, and this looks sick, especially because it includes purple. They also had a like a hoodie that came out a while ago that was on sale, so I bought that in a beige colorway and a black colorway. It's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, that sucks, Spice. Can't have that. <laughs> understand the grinding part because the EV training is well 
Yeah, I wasn't even talking about the EV training. I just meant the time investment in general just sucks. Grinding for gr grinding for EVs and stuff is different for competitive play, but if you're doing a let's play of it, then no. Also, yeah, PK Hex is a thing. 